hey guys so in this video I'll show you what we sold on March uh, even though there was a big health crisis we did pretty good um, we listed 270 items we sold 211 items uh, which is better than last month and almost as good as uh, January which is um, a pretty solid month right after the holidays so let's go through what sold during March so this one is a, an incomplete set that we randomly got from different places and instead of throwing them away we just listed them as incomplete it took a while to sell but we sold it for $50 so the point is to always try to sell even though if it's incomplete it's still worth something next one we have a um, Maxell uh, audio cassette tapes new and sealed I always take those because they usually sell pretty well um, this one sold in less than a week uh, $35 I paid less than a dollar Hallmark keepsake um, ornament for Christmas I don't know why those stuff sell uh, not on the holiday season they sell uh, actually we sold more Christmas items after Christmas so I always list them during the year antique salt and pepper sh pe pepper shakers um, we got this from our uh, business uh, business lady friend um, they just look nice uh, took about two weeks to sell thirty dollars and ten dollars shipping uh, it was a hunch basically I just took it because it looked really nice so always be on the lookout for those Yamaha remote control and manual and instructor instructions um, 35 and five dollar shipping uh, just a manual and uh, remote control always check them always check to see if uh, remote controls they they usually bring good money always missing somebody is missing a remote so always try to check some of them are worth good money and easy to ship uh, tennis racket we got we basically paid uh, two or three dollars uh, in an estate sale sold for 35 and eight dollar shipping um, check those out because they usually sell during um, summertime but uh, they're pretty pretty good money makers and and garage sales they usually sell them for five bucks or even less light switches um, we sold this it took a while but we sold this um, Sony stereo cassette deck um, professionally serviced we we bought this from um, a really rich house they had a lot of uh, electronic um, they had a, a deck full of crazy electronics we paid 700 for everything they had um, laser discs also and a lot of other stuff uh, we paid 700 for everything this one sold for uh, 860 with $40 shipping uh, sold uh, internationally uh, we paid a little extra for uh, for the unit to be professionally serviced uh, we added uh, two new cassette tapes to uh, bump the price a little bit and it helped it didn't take a long time to sell and it's really good money maker so always check Sony electronics because they sell really well Sony blu-ray uh, home home uh, system uh, this one we got off a thrift store for $25 uh, sold within a month uh, it was uh, I I um, 
uploaded a video to the listing itself to show how it works. Uh, maybe it made a sale, maybe not, but uh, sold it for 236 with uh, $35 shipping. So we made uh, quite a bit of money on this. Philips CD player. Um, it had a CD tray issue. Uh, it would open and closes randomly. I mean, it would open but closes randomly. So uh, we listed that. Uh, we mentioned that in the title. Uh, even though it sold for eight hundred and sixty dollars with sixty-five uh, dollar shipping. Uh, it had a remote also. Uh, this one sold internationally. Um, I also put a video in the listing for this one. Um, th this unit we got for, I would say, less than ten dollars uh, in one of uh, an online auction. Uh, they had a lot of other electronics, and this was very valuable, and not a lot of people knew about it. So. We got this and we made, obviously we made a lot of money on this one. Eyewitness books. So those books we got off a of pallet, a uh, book pallet we got, a Gaylord. Uh, instead of throwing them away, we just saw there are a few similar uh, books from the same uh, uh, theme, like the eyewitness books. So we just bundled them. Uh, sold within a week, twenty-seven dollars instead of you know just throwing them away. So always bundle uh, similar authors or similar themed books. Uh, Jimmy hit signed book. Uh, this is a signed autographed book. I think it it says on the cover that it's autographed. Uh, we got this at a state sale. We paid. A dollar or two took uh, about uh, two months to sell of uh, $45 and $5 shipping so autograph books always uh, list on eBay and not on Amazon because eBay is the market for for unique stuff and uh, autographed books especially vintage um, lock and key um, we got three locks and keys from uh, an estate sale. Uh, I think we paid uh, four dollars for each uh, for each set. Uh, this one took a little while to sell. Uh, Thirty-three dollars and seven dollars shipping. Um, vintage um, vintage locks. They sell pretty pretty well. They have a huge following. Uh, I think the I think eBay restricted uh, railroad railroad um, locks, so make sure you don't get something that is restricted on eBay. Um, Miss America figurine. I know I don't want to butcher the name. Louis Icart or something. Uh, just a ceramic figurine we got off. Uh, of our business lady friend uh, we paid less than five bucks uh, it sold I think it took almost three months to sell two hundred and twenty dollars and twenty dollars shipping I think it sold internationally also Marilyn Monroe uh, limited edition plates uh, five plates we got off the auction. I paid for a bin full of um, full of hers, uh, full of her um, plates. I paid ten dollars. Nobody else wanted it. This is, I think, this is the third or fourth um, plate set I sold. Uh, this one brought twenty-five dollars and fifty dollars shipping. So we made. We basically covered the the cost for all the other plates just in this one. So equipment replacement. Uh, this one specifically is for popcorn makers. So always be on the lookout for those. They're a little harder to research. 
uh, but those can bring uh, solid money because people are always looking to replace something that cost a lot of money for fairly cheap it was very light and easy to ship uh, this one was new in an open box so be on the lookout for those also Sega Genesis uh, handheld uh, system we got this off of um, garage sale we paid sixty dollars for a lot of other stuff full of games and other systems this one brought 250 with 15 dollar shipping uh, took a little while to sell but for those kind of money uh, I don't mind if it sits for a couple of months that's okay uh, be on the lookout for those old uh, <clears throat> old consoles they sell pretty well Ozzy Osbourne snow globe uh, I think I mentioned it before we got uh, two trays full of unique snow globes at the auction house for ten dollars this one uh, sold for a hundred with twelve dollar shipping uh, I think this one sold because he just uh, released a new album so it was perfect timing for us Enchanted Castle uh, numbered uh, this one is uh, we got this from uh, an estate sale we paid forty dollars for a lot a lot a lot of random unique stuff like this um, this one sold for 150 with uh, ten dollar shipping I think it was even missing uh, one of the crystals but it's numbered and it's really rare so uh, it sold but we 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 sat on this one for a while uh, a few Good months, but 150, 10 dollar shipping, easy. Vintage cash register. Um, we got this at the auction house. Uh, we paid less than 10 dollars for a bunch of um, random stuff. Just a um, just a bin full of random stuff. This was in it. Uh, sold within two days. $38 and $9 shipping uh, we made good money always look on those kind of stuff vintage stuff they sell pretty well um, people collect all sorts of stuff so be on the lookout for those religious bundle uh, of DVDs we always try to bundle uh, the same themed DVDs so this one was like God and, and Bible and all sorts of uh, religious kind of lot so we just bundled this one sold for $20 in um, took uh, two weeks to sell we got this off, uh, off of a pallet we bought a uh, DVD pallet we bought Royal Dalton uh, figure figurine uh, we had a lot of interest in this one uh, this one I think we sold it for our best offer uh, we sold it for $71 and $15 shipping we paid um, we paid $20 we got it off of uh, estate sale we paid $20 for everything and and we got a lot of random uh, small electronics also so this one just we're in the money just from this sale obviously so Royal Dalton is a really good uh, brand to look for in figurines so always check those so this is it guys if you have any questions or comments please leave them below uh, I appreciate any likes and please subscribe also thank you so much guys see you in the next one